In this video, you're going to learn how to do digital music releases. That is publishing your songs on platforms like iTunes and Spotify and even on social media platforms, TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. You see those short clips that people can take artist songs and do something to it or put it behind their videos and stuff. So you're going to learn how all of that is done. This video is for two sets of people. Number one are indie artists, people who don't have a record label behind them to do all of this stuff. So you have to do everything by yourself. But I've been releasing my songs by myself. And also I got to build a business on the back of this. So because of the knowledge that I have. So that brings me to the second kind of person who this video is going to be helpful for. It's going to be helpful to you if you are someone looking to start a business, a small online business as a, a media agency that puts out songs and does promotions for indie artists who may not have the time or may not know how to do this by themselves mind you as well you don't have to even be into music you don't have to even have any kind of love or passion or connections with music for you to be able to do this so if you're new here don't forget to like the video subscribe and share this with anyone who you know might find it useful okay and also leave any comments in the comment section any question that you have any thoughts any ideas just leave them in the comment section and let's interact now let's get into it now before we get into um, the hands-on step-by-step guide I want to talk about how this works and what platforms to use, especially if you're new, you've never done this before. You want to know some basics and uh, how it works before we get into it. The first thing is you just cannot put your songs out on iTunes and Spotify and all of the streaming platforms directly, especially if you do not live in a country like the US or the UK. But even when you do live in these countries, you actually use an aggregator to just put out the music to all of these platforms because there are so many platforms, it will be a very serious task for you to do it one by one for each platform okay so the aggregator serves as the middleman between yourself who is releasing the music and the streaming platforms they take your music and all of the information you give to them and put it out on this music platforms just at the push of a button making your life a lot easier now there are so many aggregators and there's been a lifelong heated debate on the internet on which one is best and you know people who always have different opinions now there is TuneCore, there is distro kid there is cd baby and a lot of them and these are the three that i've actually used they all have their own um, pros and cons which i'm not going to go into in detail but i'm going to tell you how to choose or how i choose the one that i use i use cd baby and the reason why i go with cd baby is because i'm an up and coming artist myself and most of the people that i work with are up and coming artists and i think the cd baby is the best option if you're up and coming so to me it's all about where you are on your journey as a music artist or the journey of the people that you're working for okay so if you're newer cd baby is best because you don't have to pay a subscription fee it's one time it's set and forget okay so you pay that money your song is out and it will be out for life but the downside is you are going to give up some um, percentage of your income i think it's about 10 or 20 percent i'm not sure um, so you're going to give out some percentage to of your earnings from those streaming um, revenue to um, share it with cd baby which is why a lot of people hate it yes but the thing is if you are a newer artist you're most likely not going to make a lot of money um, on your very first release or releases okay so for that i think it's a good step starting point to learn the ropes and all of that and you might also not make a lot of money so it doesn't make sense for you to join a system that is subscription based like TuneCore and most others for you to keep it on those platforms every single year now anytime that you don't pay that money your songs will get taken down from all of those platforms which i think is very embarrassing if you are a bigger artist now it makes sense for you to go the subscription route why because let's say you um, generate say a thousand dollars every year from your streaming revenue from one song now you don't want to share that thousand dollars with a platform like cd baby where you're going to give them 10 percent or 20 percent depending on what it is you want to go the subscription route because now you might pay ten dollars instead of say a hundred or two hundred dollars depending on the percentage it's mostly dependent on where you are on your journey as an artist it's not a one size fit all thing okay so because most of the artists that i'm working for and myself were up and coming artists I personally think that CD Baby is the best and I have never done any release with CD Baby that went sideways there was no issues at all even sometimes that I had issues like one time I put out a song and I misspelled the artist the title of the song and I actually um, reached out to CD Baby and I got that fixed which I was super impressed by I thought I couldn't do it so overall their, their support is, is great 
the service is amazing so the only downside is that percentage split but i hope that i've been able to give you a clue as to how to choose which one will work best for you and your particular situation now let's get in and get hands on with this and that's the website and it's a very simple website you can log in if you already have an account or you just click on get started on the sign up page you can see the sign up is um free of course and you can upload your songs and artist info sell your music and get paid weekly sign up is pretty easy i'm not going to sign up i already have a, an account and a bunch of accounts actually for artists that i manage so um first name last name email address um your email address again um company which is optional your address of course your country your state and just a simple sign up form here for number and all and once you do that you can just sign in and you know check this and save and do the rest of the thing very straightforward okay now once that is done let's go to login so i can log into one of my accounts and show you guys how this works so we're going to do a release an actual release for an artist and you're going to see how the process goes so what we do now is click on albums and singles you see there's nothing here this account is pretty new so we're going to click on add a new title to start the process of um, putting out this song okay now the first thing we want to select is are we going to be releasing an album or a single in this case we're going to be doing a single and also they give you the option of um, releasing as a CD or, or vinyl and, and all of that so which is nice not very popular in this day and age but still nice that you can do that on CD baby so I'm going to click on release a single and now you see there are two options that we can choose from here we can go pro publishing or we can do the standard now the standard will suffice for most of um, the artists especially if you are an up-and-coming artist you know uh, but if you're a big artist with a lot of streams you might want to do things you might have an, enough budget as well to throw around this five dollar one is is fine okay and the beautiful thing like i said earlier is that this is a one-time fee is set and forget and then you have that 10 percent or 20 percent to give to them if you make your um, income or your revenue from streaming the differences here are performing rights affiliation so this is going to be registering your songs on, with a pro which is publishing rights sorry performing rights organizations like um, BMI or ASCAP I use BMI personally but this is also free so I don't really see why you want to do this uh, you can register on BMI so um, this is actually the song we're about to release I've already registered now you can see the song power of your name I have registered so this you can do for absolutely free and let me know in the comment section if you would like me to teach you how to get on BMI and the process and all of that moving on let's go back to our CD baby and you can see publishing royalty collection mechanical royalty collection music is a very very tedious thing especially when you get to the business side of things um, with licensing and it, it's really deep okay and it can get quite confusing but for now we're just going to do this one because the most important thing here is the registration of the song which I've already done so I'm going to select um, the uh, standard package and then now we can start to enter in our information to release the song it's quite a process which is why I'm going to walk you guys um, step by step so the first thing you want to select is the language of your single and in this case it is english so i'm going to put in the artist name as well so that is the artist name and the title of the song now that is the title of the song power of your name so the release date is next now you put this date in the future when you want your song to be out and what i like to do here is just to be safe if i'm going to release my song um, on a set date I can just put it to come out um, on a day or two before that date just so that if there's any issues it will be fixed and sorted out before that date okay so I don't disappoint my fans or people that are expecting the song to be out on all digital platforms so in this case we're going to be releasing the song on the 20 no on the 18th of December and so I'm going to use um, 16th so here we can leave it empty because we are not signed to a record label and we can also leave the copyright owner empty you can see how it says leave if it is the same as the artist so yes the copyright owner is the same as the artist so leave that next we go to the barcode which you have to pay for there's an upsell here you have to pay for a barcode if you already have one you can select and move on and provide that barcode number but i'm just going to say i don't have a barcode to make this easy you might have to pay an extra five dollar but i think for a newer account um if, the, if it's your first release they usually wave that away 
or you can also get a coupon code to make it easy for you and still revert back to five dollars but let's just keep going um so we click on save and continue now on the next level we start to enter in our track info now here you want to make sure that you enter in the right category so that your song can be found where you want it to be found basically so main category um here i'm going to go for something that falls on the spiritual because this is a gospel song and then a drop down comes up for subcategory and i'm going to look for something still around the gospel region um let's do contemporary christian or gospel uh, yeah let's do contemporary christian and then the next we are going to select just about the same thing spiritual and next we're going to do um let's do contemporary gospel okay now we are going to select the region the artist is in nigeria so i am going to select that now famous artists you sound like so you want to find people in your niche in, in the same um, genre as you that you want your music to come around the same kind of playlist or something like that so so this artist is a female artist that lives in nigeria so i've selected from the three options two nigerian big artists um messi chumo and sinach and then i have selected um, tasha Cobbs, who is a foreign um, artist so similar vibe similar type of sound so in your own releases you want to do some research listen to the music see how the person sounds like and what artists they um, can be um, kind of related to you know and put that in there but this is not super important you can see that it's optional here so just uh, but it's nice to put it in so save and continue uh, I have not selected something here. Let's go back and now we can move on. Okay, so now we are on the next page. So parental advisory, does this track include explicit uh, lyrical content? The answer is no, because it's a gospel song. Language of lyrics is in English language. Is this track a live performance? The answer is no. It was a studio recording composition type. This is an original composition. It is not a cover now we move on to add a songwriter so we're going to save the name of the artist as the only songwriter here but if you have multiple songwriters on the project you can add that um, and you can also do a like a royalty split thing but that is not what we're going to do here we're just going to move on so what did this writer contribute to this track both music and lyric okay because they have full copyrights to the song so um does this person have a publisher for this song the answer is no so that um bmi sorry so that cd baby can call it all of that we don't have a publisher now we can save and continue so we are on the isrc section and you can see it's uh, a unique identifying code for your song and this can be given to you for absolutely free by um cd baby so let's just select i have no sorry i need an i need you to assign an isrc to me so um we can get that done for free here now we select where we want our songs to display so digital distribution options now i'm going to select mm, do it even or the unpaid one so this is like saying put my song everywhere everywhere okay so if you scroll down you would see um the bunch of options which is why you need an aggregator whether or not you live in a country where you have access to just create an account on spotify or itunes or stuff like that you need an aggregator because you can see the the, the amount of places that your songs are going on boom play on amazon music apple music itunes spotify tidal you know TikTok, youtube music facebook all of those places you can put your songs by the push of a at the push of a button so um, we select do for all that's my preference but if you want to have your songs for downloads only or streaming as well you can do that and also you can speak with your artist if that is what they want if they're more experienced and they know what they want um, you can also seek their opinion um, on this and save and continue so here now we select a clip for um, your TikTok and your Facebook so people can jump on trends and things so um, if you have a clip you can click on customize clip and upload that clip it could be 30 seconds but it shouldn't be more than one minute long so 60 seconds well we're just going to do a default so they can take the first 60 seconds of the song as the um, TikTok and all of that 
um, social media platform cl um, clip so now in this section we are going to select the, the artist id on if they already have a song released they would have a page on itunes and spotify so we want to make sure that we find that and so that we can tie the, the this current release to their previous releases but this artist is a newer artist and as you can see um city baby will do a, a quick search to find if they have any songs and you can see here there is no selection for apple music and itunes nothing on spotify or um, youtube music so um, we're just going to so if you click on edit you can see there is an option here that has already been selected for create new artist profile so that this is going to be automatically done for you so you don't have to worry if you have never released any song so we're going to click on continue and click on continue again and now we select the territory for our release and ideally you want to do all territory and you know depending on the project if it's a project that is very um, location specific you can now specify what countries you want the songs to be released on so sometimes you can see some songs and maybe you want to watch them on youtube and they say this song is not available in your region or something like that that's because if the the publisher or whenever the, the song was released it, they selected some areas where the songs can be available so but because we want to reach the world we're going to select all territories we're trying to take over the world here <laughs> so save that and continue so we are getting to the juicy part the end of it where we're going to um upload our songs and all of that so now we want to opt in for all monetization options of course who doesn't want more yeah um so this allows your song to be for you to collect youtube money if your song is streamed on youtube or Facebook somebody's using your song on Facebook and Instagram on their reels or something like that and and the rest of the places so let's do all of it okay opt in for all monetization and agree to the terms and save and continue now um, congrats on making it to this final step which has been quite a, a process um, now we are getting to the point where we submit the actual content and the creatives the music and the album art okay first of all we're doing the artwork and these are the options you want to pay close details this is where you you have your your release delayed because you're not keep if you don't follow these rules now the first rule here for your artwork is 3000 by 3000 pixels uh, and a minimum of 1400 by 1400 pixels that's your artwork size okay and um, double check that text on your artwork this is really important is identical to the metadata that you you entered um, for your release so no copyright images no blurry thing no website url like your contact your your social media um, handles and stuff like that so these are things you shouldn't have on your design okay we already have a design for this and i've gone ahead to optimize it to make sure that we don't have any problems with this release but one thing you want to do if you have an art a, a graphics designer doing your work you want to make sure that you give them these things and you can um tell them 3000 by 3000 and all of that um, information so that's our work right there 3000 by 3000 less than 25 mb and we can wait for this to upload see there is nothing it's just clean her name um the title of the song that's it that's all no produced by or all of that information just name and title of the song next we click on save and continue move on to where we can now upload our song so now we are here to submit our audio and you can see there is also some rules that we have to keep to upload high quality files um, either wave or flak or you also want to make sure that and you also want to make sure that you're doing 44.1 kilohertz um, sample rate 16 bit you can upload mp3s i don't recommend uploading mp3s because oftentimes you might that you might have your song rejected and it will ask you to um, change it so just to be safe do wave or I, I usually just do wave okay so let's go on and upload this song so now as you can see the song has been uploaded successfully and if you have any issues of course it's going to give you an error telling you that maybe the sample rate is not right or something like that so now we're going to click on save and continue and we're pretty much done with this release right now have a look at everything um no i don't want to take a tour so we can see all of the information one last time our release date the genre all of that stuff we can check out so now anything that you have not done will be in red so service agreement release and you've not paid so now i'm going to scroll down and select the distribution 
ah so th there's a there was a problem here i did this i did not save for it to create a new artist profile so make sure you don't make that mistake guys so but you're always going to be and you have this um tick mark but you're always going to see all of that at the end of your um everything okay so let's go over back to title overview and now you will see that the distribution is gone so under service agreements we're going to check that and sign by entering the artist name now once done we're going to click on save and that is saved close this one more time and now everything is ready we just have to pay for this and the release will be sent out okay take your time you don't have to pay immediately you can wait you can just set this and maybe speak with your artist if you're an agent or a media agency and or you manage artists speak with them find out that make sure that everything is right and once you're ready to pay you um, can add to cart let's just do that so you see how it is um, you can say yes I'm ready and now so you can see the pricing and all um, they're trying to upsell you here um, but no uh, no thanks just proceed to cart and now you can see this is the upc code i told you is going to be waived because it's it's my first release on this um account but usually this will cost about five dollars you can also get upc codes for free or for cheaper than five dollars i think but it's it's not a big deal so they're waiving it for the first release and if i click on checkout you can see now that we have the option to pay with our card or paypal usually i use my paypal but um for, for those of us living in nigeria um our nigerian cards may not work so because nigerian banks have stopped supporting fx transactions from a naira card you know so it, it might be difficult for you so what you want to do is get something like a gig pay virtual card pioneer virtual card cheaper cash there's vela there is just so many of them that you can get that allow you to fund in naira or get usd from there and then you can just link that card and make your payment that way so very simple so if i make this payment right now then my you can see it's just five dollars and my release will be um, scheduled for um, release but if there's any problem they're going to send you a mail to the email that you use in signing up but you want to look out uh, on that email for any um, pointers or any issues that might arise but nine times out of ten is always smooth so uh, i'm not going to make payment now because i'm not ready to send out this release so i will just go back to dashboard and as you can see i have uh my one unpaid item so i can still go back and edit anything that i want to do pending when i pay and um, send this project out so that is how you do it guys thank you for watching the video if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and you want to watch the next video i will see you in the next one take care